going to blow up a balloon using a reaction between vinegar and baking soda. So first what we have to do is we have to put the baking soda in the balloon. And baking soda is a weak base. It's sodium bicarbonate. And I use roughly one fourth, but the ratios can, can differ depending on how much you have in your house. And this sodium bicarbonate will react in a one-to-one -one molar mixture reaction with the vinegar. So vinegar is made up of acetic acid and water. And so what happens is that when the acetic acid reacts with the sodium bicarbonate, you get sodium acetate. And you also have a reaction with the the bicarbonate in the hydrogen ion from the acetic acid and you get carbonic acid which dissolves which dissociates into carbon dioxide which is how we can blow up this balloon and water so make sure you have a good grip on where the balloon connects to the water bottle And you can see that depending on how much of each ratio of vinegar and baking soda you have, you can make a really big balloon or a smaller balloon. So it looks like we're about done. But the interesting thing is when we make this, um, when we blow up a balloon this way, the balloon's filled with mostly carbon dioxide. So because we're not filling up with air. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air, and so it won't fly, it'll drop. And so that's our experiment for today. Um, hope you have fun trying it out.